Good Day Assets? Are you familiar with financial statements? What are the different types of financial statements? How are they prepared? You can learn them right here. Financial statements are the final product of accounting. Through reporting, interpreting, and communicating these financial statements, the management and owners are able to make decisions for the business. That's why careful preparation of financial statements is necessary. These are the financial statements to be prepared by the accountant. Statement of Comprehensive Income or Income Statement Statement of Changes in Equity Statement of Financial Position Statement of Cash Flows, and Notes to Financial Statements. Let's discuss them one by one. First, the Statement of Comprehensive Income or Income Statement. The Income Statement is a statement showing the performance of the enterprise for a given period of time. It summarizes the revenues earned and expenses incurred for that period of time. With Income Statement, we can determine if the business is earning profit or experiencing loss. Here is an example of how you prepare the income statement. Please be reminded that all of the accounts and balances that we are going to use in the preparation of financial statements can be found in the worksheet. First, write the heading. Next, list down all the revenues with the respective balances and get the total balance of revenue. Next, list down all the expenses with their respective balances and compute for the total amount. Lastly, get the difference between total revenue and total expenses to determine the profit or loss. If the total revenue is greater than total expenses, it is profit. Otherwise, it is a loss. Don't forget, to double rule. After preparing the income statement, we will now prepare the statement of changes in equity. The statement of changes in equity summarizes the changes that occurred in owner's equity. It represents the movements of the owner's equity account during the reporting period. It also reflects the ending balance of the owner's equity. Here is an example of statement of changes in equity. Write again the heading then write the initial capital or investment by the owner. If there are any additional investments made during the period, add it to the beginning equity. Also, add the profit that we computed from the income statement. Next, if there are any withdrawals, deduct it from the total. Then, we can get the ending balance of owner's equity. Don't forget to double rule. This amount will be brought to the statement of financial position or balance sheet. Now, we are going to prepare the statement of financial position, also known as the balance sheet. The statement of financial position is a statement that shows the financial position or condition of an entity by listing the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity as at a specific date. Users of financial statements analyze the balance sheet to evaluate an entity's liquidity, its financial flexibility, and its ability to generate profits and its solvency. So what do we mean by liquidity, financial flexibility, and solvency? Liquidity refers to the availability of cash in the near future after taking account of the financial commitments over this period. Ibig sabihin, through balance sheet, malalaman natin ang kakayahan ng business na bayaran ng kanyang mga short-term obligations at ma-convert ng kanyang mga assets into cash. There are times na malaki ang kinikita ng business pero wala naman siyang sapat na cash para bayaran ang day-to-day -day expenses ng business 
kasi malaking bahagi ng kita ay hindi pa nababayaran ng customer. Next is financial flexibility. It is the ability to take effective actions to alter the amounts and timings of cash flows so that it can respond to unexpected needs and opportunities. Tumutukoy ito sa kakayahan ng business na maka-adapt sa unexpected events na maaaring maka-apekto sa financial stability ng business. For example, this pandemic. How flexible is the company to adapt to this unexpected event with respect to its financial status? Paano niya masisiguro na tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang pagpasok ng pera sa business? And lastly, solvency. This refers to the availability of cash over the longer term or meet financial commitments as they fall due. Tumutukoy naman ito sa kakayahan ng business na mabayaran lahat ng obligations niya gamit ang available cash. Mapa short term or long term obligations. Kailangang pag-aralan ang cash flows o ang galaw ng cash sa business. Ang pagpasok at paglabas ng pera para malaman din natin kung kaya bang bayaran ang lahat ng obligations ng business. So how is a statement of financial position or balance sheet prepared? First, write the heading. The balance sheet should be as at the end of the period. Then, list down all the assets by classifying them as current and non-current assets. The accumulated depreciation of properties and equipment is a contra asset. So it should be deducted from the amount of the property and equipment. Then compute for the total amount of asset. Next is list down all the liabilities while classifying it as current and non-current. In this case, there is no non-current liabilities. Then compute for the total liabilities. Next is write the owner's equity. The amount of owner's equity can be found in the ending balance of owner's equity in the statement of changes in equity. Lastly, compute for the total liabilities and equity. The total assets must be equal to the total liabilities and equity. In this case, the total asset is 1,093,400 pesos, while the total liabilities and owner's equity is also the same as 1,093,400 pesos. And of course, don't forget to double rule your answer. Lastly, the statement of cash flows for the period. It is a summary of the cash inflows o pagpasok ng cash sa business and outflows o paglabas o paggastos ng cash sa business that brought cash to its ending balance. So sa pamamagitan ng cash flow statement, mas malalaman natin kung paano ang naging galaw ng cash. If you will remember, the ending balance of cash na ginamit natin sa balance sheet ay ito rin dapat ang lalabas sa ending balance sa statement of cash flows. It classifies cash receipts or inflows and cash payments or outflows into operating, investing, and financing activities of an entity during a period. Now, Let's discuss these activities one by one. First, the operating activities. These are activities intended to generate income for the business. Below are some transactions that represent operating activities. May pumapasok na cash sa sales of goods or services o pagbebenta ng produkto o serbisyo. Kayon din sa sale of trading of securities or investment sa debt and equity para kumita. Interest income o kinita sa pag-iipon o pagpapautang ng pera. Dividend income o kinita naman sa pag-iinvest sa stocks. May lumalabas naman na cash sa pagbabayad ng purchases of inventory o pagbili ng mga produkto upang ipagbenta. Operating expenses tulad ng gasto sa rent, equipment, Inventory costs, marketing, payroll and insurance. Taxes o pagbabayad ng buwis. Interest expenses o gasto sa pangungutang. And purchase of trading securities o pagbili naman ng debt at equity instruments. Second one is investing activities. 
these are transactions or activities that will affect non-operating current assets and non-current assets. The primary purpose of investing is to acquire an asset in order to assist and facilitate business operations. Ibig sabihin, may kinalaman ito sa pagbili ng mga non-current assets like PPE at pagkakaroon ng kita sa pagbebenta ng mga ito. Pumapasok ang cash kapag mayroong sales of plant assets o nagbenta ng equipment at iba pang properties tulad ng building and land. Ganun din, kapag mayroong sale of non-trading securities. Ito yung mga securities na mahirap ipagbili at bilhin tulad ng mga government bonds or government securities. Sales of business segment o pagbebenta ng ibang bahagi ng business na totally buong business ang pagbebenta kundi yung ibang bahagi lang ng business. And collection of loans. Nagkakaroon din tayo ng pagpasok ng cash sa business sa pangungolekta ng mga pautang. Samantala, lumalabas naman ang cash kapag nag-purchase ng plant assets o bumili ng properties and equipment. Purchase on non-trading securities, making loans to other entities o pagbabayad ng nagagastos sa pangungutang. Lastly, are the financing activities. It pertains to transactions between the business and its owners and creditors or lenders. The intentions of financing activities are to raise working capital to be used for business operations and to acquire plant, property, and equipment for the business. May pumapasok na cash sa business kapag may natatanggap mula sa owner's investment o nagdagdag ng investment ng owner ng business. Ganun din ang borrowings o pangungutang o panghihiram ng pera. Samantala, nagkakaroon naman ng paglabas ng cash kapag may owner's withdrawals o nag-withdraw ng pera ang owner. Ganun din kapag may payment of borrowings o nagbayad ng pagkakautang. So how is it prepared? First, don't forget the heading. Then enumerate and summarize all the activities related to operating, investing, and financing activities. Then compute for the total cash flows from each of the activities. Next, compute for the net increase or decrease in cash using the total cash balances of each activities. Then add if there is any cash balance at the beginning of the period to get the ending balance of cash. Its cash balance also appears in the balance sheet. For the notes to financial statements, this is composing of a summary of significant accounting policies and other explanatory information. For this financial statement, I just want you to search for a sample notes to financial statement to be familiarized with it since we will just prepare the first four financial statements. Now that you have already knew how to prepare these financial statements, I want you to prepare the income statement, statement of changes in equity, and statement of financial position based on the worksheet that you have already accomplished, which is also based on the problem solving provided in your learning module. Thank you for your time, assets. If you want to review previous topics about the steps in the accounting cycle, feel free to subscribe to this channel and click the links in the description below. This is Sir Jamari Magiat. In a life full of liabilities, always remember to become an asset. If you don't want to be an asset, don't try to be everyone's liability. Have a nice day, assets!